The Nuts and Bolts of Hamlet, Part 2. In Act 1, Scene 1, the ghost appears again, and now Horatio sees the ghost. So you remember that Horatio did not believe in it, but now he actually sees the ghost. Marcellus, who is one of the guards, tries to throw his sword at the ghost, but the ghost vanishes into thin air. And they call the ghost an illusion. So make sure you know what an illusion is. It is now dawn, and Marcellus says that all the ghosts disappear when the morning sun rises. So that was the belief at the time, is that, that the ghosts would appear around midnight, and when the morning sun rises, they disappear again. So, characters introduced so far. Bernardo and Francisco, which are the palace guards, and you should add their... Marcellus as well. So there's a third guard that appears. Horatio, remember that is Hamlet's best friend, and the ghost. So the ghost is the ghost of Hamlet's father. We have also heard about the late King Fortinbras and young Fortinbras. So remember, young Fortinbras is part of that subplot where he's now trying to get his father's land back. Themes that have been introduced so far. Appearance versus reality. Major theme in the play. So the question, is the ghost real or an illusion? Corruption and disorder. So the appearance of the ghost signifies that there is something wrong in the state of Denmark. In Act 1, Scene 2. Now we are inside the castle. The first scene was outside the castle. This scene is inside the castle. It's brightly lit. There is a scene of celebration as Claudius is being crowned as the new king of Denmark. Who is Claudius? He is a major character. He's the brother of the late King Hamlet who died three months before. And the story that was told is that he died because a snake bit him in the ear. How likely is that? Claudius also married the late King Hamlet's wife. So he married his brother's wife just two months after his brother died. So what does this tell us about his character? What kind of person will marry his brother's wife two months after the death of his brother? Claudius gives a speech at his coronation, and these are the things he mentions. First he says, his dear brother's memory is green, it is very new, and he's grieving for his brother. Note that as royalty, he uses we and our to refer to himself. He mentions that he has married his late brother's wife, even though he is still grieving for his brother. How hard that must have been. He thanks everyone that they have supported this marriage. Now, obviously, people had no choice because the king had absolute power and you had to just go along with whatever decision he made. He mentions that Fortinbras, this is young Fortinbras, intends to attack Denmark and that he, Claudius, is sending a letter to Fortinbras's uncle who is now the new king of Norway, to try to stop him. So remember that Fortinbras wants his father's land back. And then a new character is introduced. His name is Laertes. He is a young man. He's at university. He is the same age as Hamlet and Horatio. He's studying in France. His father is Polonius, who is an advisor to Claudius, and his sister's name is Ophelia. Ophelia is Hamlet's girlfriend. So Laertes is an important character in the play. So, and be aware at this point that Hamlet is in a love affair with Ophelia, who is Laertes' sister. 